Okay, now let's get this show on the road. So, I'm just gonna stay on no sweat until I learn this game better. Because once again, the mechanics, I think, are much more... Uh, I'm more interested in figuring out how to make, like, a, a properly optimized base than I am dealing with, like, random challenges. So now we're just going to re-roll this for a while. Geoactive, we want geoactive and metal rich. Well, here we go. The only issue is large boulders, but you know what? I can work with that. Oh, wait, no. Maybe we don't. See, Verdante has very little clean water. Killed your uh, first colony this weekend. Interesting. Okay. Because I'd like to stay away from large boulders. Because geoactive, geoactive and geodes might not have been bad. I, geodes and metal rich. I just want geoactive because, uh, because geysers are fun. I'm just gonna keep rolling this until I find something that really appeals to me. I think it's I think it's designed very specifically so that you don't uh, you don't have uh, more good than bad. I mean, obviously. The channels. Okay, well I got it. So we do have large glaciers, metal rich, and geoactive. That should be good. Let's check our settings here. Let's see, so World Rhyme, oh, this is the World Gen Seed. That's probably what I want to look for, give or take. Uh, let's see, Hunger, Fasting, Stress Chipper, Care Packages, that's cool. And I'm going to keep off. Yeah, we could just do Total Im Immunity, but we barely had any germs anyway. So I think I'm just going to go with this. I've realized that, yeah, I'm still playing on easy peasy, uh, you know, living easy mode, but whatever. It's going to be cold, though. It, this is almost the complete opposite of the last run, where everything was was starting to heat up slowly. This one, we're starting on Rhyme, and it's got big glaciers, so chances are my poor people are going to be popsicles. Going to advanced options, you can import the seed. Yeah, I was hoping the name was the seed, but no, it's something special. Okay, so we want to have people with three, three interests. I know people have told me, can we get... Okay. Tidying, decorating, suit wearing, eh. Supplying, ranching, and decorating, eh. Digging, cooking, and farming. That's good. Night Owl. Noodle Arms is unfortunate, and they are a vomiter, but that's okay. Digging, doctoring, and suit wearing. I'm liking that. Does have an early bird. Can't cook, but that's okay. We have a cook. And I would say we need an operator and a researcher. I guess there's also building. Well, we have operating, researching, and decorating. The only one, the only problem is bottomless stomach. That said, that's a pretty good character, so I can probably work with it. Okay. Anyway, uh, this will probably be good. So, guys, I think I I think for this colony, you guys want to shout out some really gross-sounding food, like uh. We got peanut butter cheesecake. What else do we have? Ham smoothie. I, I want to name all of these characters after just weird, bad things that you probably don't want to eat. Let's see, not destructive. Oh shoot, he is destructive, okay. Because we want building, operating, and researching. Alternatively, we just go Captain Science here.
Okay, so we have peanut butter cheesecake, ham smoothie, and flaming hot oatmeal. Oreo cherry milkshake. Ah. But no. Uh, let's let's go with food that probably shouldn't exist as opposed to the basic things like tuna casserole, which actually is quite good. Anyway, so we're just going to have a buff science man who cries a lot. That should be okay. Um... It's really tempting to actually re-roll peanut butter cheesecake a couple of times and only have, uh, you know what? Let's do that. Okay, squeamish, cannot do doctoring, germ resistant, okay, perfect. I'm gonna redo this. This is going to be the, um, the, the colony is going to be the tribe of tears. Eh, tribe doesn't work. I'm just gonna pick nothing but ugly criers, because it sounds fun. Is this my first playthrough? No, I've actually played this a fair bit. I'm just not- I'm no expert. But yeah, we are going to keep peanut butter cheesecake. And I- I know their stats were good. But... Yeah, that's- I don't know what you're doing. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so we'll just end up with this this peanut butter cheesecake to just dig. Uh, dig like crazy, research like crazy, and hopefully we'll get some more people. Um, Land of Tears. The problem is, like... Yeah, I, I want to avoid the obvious... Uh, the obvious terrible... Terrible options. Uh, we'll just call them the crybabies. So good luck, crybabies. I believe in you. Yeah, because I, I don't want to. I don't want this to be associated with uh, with various American uh, atrocities uh, that were committed against you know the indigenous people. Because that's awful. And like, I never wanted to make an allusion to that in any of my series. Uh, even though that's kind of the gimme option here, it's still shitty to do, and I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. So, now what do we do? Where do we go? How do we do this? So there's a hell of a lot of metal down below and not a whole lot up. I think... Oxygen was an issue last time. What I should probably do is... Dig down here. A Sea of Black Tears is in a uh, reference to Brutal Legend. Yeah, that wasn't the one that I was uh, less than thrilled about. I mean, it's it's kind of the obvious gimme answer, but I really, really do not want to name my colony the Trail of Tears, because, like, holy shit, that is wildly insensitive. And, like, I realize that, like, people like to use dark humor and so on and so forth, but, like... It's like making fun of, I mean, straight up, like, Holocaust jokes or anything like that. Like, it's... That was one of the one of the worst like human atrocities uh, in a long time, and it's one of those where like in the U.S. you don't really like you don't really hear about it as much as like oh yeah this ha thing happened, and then you find out about it, and you're like holy shit that was that was not okay for like our our forefathers to have done, but they did it anyway, and it's just awful. Was the forced migration of the Cherokee tribe? I think it was more than just the Cherokees. I, I could be wrong. Once again, I didn't cover it that much in, in school, and it's one of those where it's like I don't know if I have the stomach to like look it up necessarily. I probably should. But yeah, I prefer not to cross lines because, like, yeah, I I'm almost a 30 year old man. I two more years. Uh, I have in two more years, like, let's see, I think we're going to make most of these rooms three high this time around, instead of four high. Yeah, American history education is awful. Yep. They really do skip over a lot, and it's frustrating, because it's just like, no, some of these things are important.
like really important and they're just like nope we're not gonna talk about it because uh it's a bad thing and children are gonna be sad about it and it's like well yeah that's how you get them to not do it again i mean obviously not all kids are probably going to recreate uh such horrible atrocities that is a glacier isn't it that is one hell of a glacier Okay, uh, let's see. So we should probably start with the, uh, the obvious options of plumbing. Because we're gonna need an outhouse. We're gonna need two outhouses. And... The research station. Which means I'm gonna need a little bit of power. We don't have any metal, though. I guess we'll have to leave that for later. Okay. Well, they're leveling digging pretty quick, which is nice. But yeah, what I'm gonna want to do is probably get all of this, uh, all of this water in one unified location. And I'll make just a really giant, uh, water basin to work from. And, I mean, honestly, like, if we can get our hands on some chlorine, which is probably guaranteed, at some point we should be able to kill off most of the germs. Hopefully. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll just have, like, two water reservoirs that we ping-pong back and forth between to get rid of all the germs, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, let's see. So we've got the outhouses. We've still got that there. We should... Have we picked up enough metal to get the manual generator? Okay, so you might notice a couple of, uh, new items here. Specifically, uh, we actually have infinite uh, batteries and an infinite battery generator. I'm not going to use those until, like, we hit the end of this challenge. Like, if we get to the point where, uh... Let's see. If, if we get to the point where uh, we're, like, super doomed, I'll start busting out the infinite generators just because, but that's going to be a slightly later date. Let's, let's cancel that. We might as well make the, uh, the rooms right off the bat. We've got some, we've got some pretty decent diggers here, so I might as well. Let's see, is the skill percentage pop-up an option or a mod? I actually don't know. Uh, I, I really don't. Let's see. Now, we haven't picked up any skills yet. We'll have to wait on that one. Uh, let's see. No oxygen diffuser. We need a food source. Everything's scheduled. Oh, right. Uh, question. This person's an early bird. So, let's do... So, we're going to do downtime... Say here. Bedtime, move it up by four. Okay, so who's the early bird? Ham Smoothie is. I'm not actually sure if that counts as early bird. I'll have to figure it out. Wow, these characters just dig. And we've already got the outhouses, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's see, research. We immediately want to get basic farming. Let me see. We have Hexland and some other things. This will be fun. There's a lot of metal, by the way. Like, going metal rich was a Good plan. I want to kind of head up here. Ooh, rust biome. That might be kind of fun to work with. Let's see. 
Or we have stuff like polluted ice here. Ooh, you know what I could do? I'm just gonna put those down momentarily. Because we're going to want to dig most of this stuff out. We're probably going to want uh, some hella storage bins. So we might as well just work on that for the time being. Okay, that should work. This should drain. We'll work on some other stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna set this to all for the time being. Eventually we'll move to more specialized farming, but that's okay. So, meal prep will be nice. I guess going for the farm tiles might not be terrible. We should probably go for power regulation so we can immediately head towards the bigger batteries. Let's see, so you specialize in farming, cooking, etc. later on? Yeah, so you start with a smidge of food. It's not much, which actually pre uh, presents a bit of a pickle here. Not a huge one. Because effectively, what I'm going to do is just bump up in here. There's some food plants just hanging out in this room. And that'll be enough. Especially because, like, I know muckroot is just baseline edible and so on and so forth. Okay, so the other thing we want to do, refinement, we got to get some compost going on in here. Because these have like 12 and 14 visits remaining. That's not so bad, but can get bad. Ham Smoothie's socializing with himself. Good on you, Ham Smoothie. Keep it up. Okay. Next order of business, we should probably look into bedrooms. I wonder if you can have ladder tiles leading out of a, uh, out of one of these. Because that would be kind of interesting if, if you could actually have people, like, drop down from where their bedroom is. Oh, right. Ham Smoothie has the, uh, the night sleep, uh, he's a night owl, yeah? Oh, no, he's just the early bird. What if he was a night owl? No, never mind. We don't have a night owl currently. Let's see. Still working on that. We've got a little bit... Well, we got the science done. We should probably wait before I do too much. We'll want this for moving things around. We'll want sanitation probably earlier than later. At the same time, let's go up here. Let's get those farm tiles down. Let's see. Let's get furniture. Dig the rest of this room out. So that might take a little bit of time to dig through, but that's okay. Do I want to do this now? Yeah, because we'll probably have the... Uh, we'll probably have enough space to do farming. We'll probably put the farm right where this is immediately after. What happened to Wanderer's base? It got too hot, and 
I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fix it, so I just decided easier to start over and and do it right this time around. I don't know about you guys, but usually when it comes to these games, it's not that I paint myself into the corner, it's that I get to a certain point where I'm just like, I could I could keep going with, with this and I could maybe even make it work. Or I can start over and do it better a second time around, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'll do this often when I'm playing a sandbox game, where I'm just like, well, this one's mostly borked, path of least resistance, let's start over. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say give up, but, you know. Try again with a, uh, with a better setup. Yeah, it's possible to dig myself out of this mess, but that would take an additional 10 hours. Yep. Whereas, like, conversely, last time I spent a lot of time trying to get a coal setup going, trying to get this, like, weird, uh, germ situate, uh, like, germ purifier. And I've realized that, yeah, I didn't actually need to do that. Especially if we got a rust biome up here. Like, I'm effectively going to be able to make a big old water reservoir and just pump chlorine in there and then problem solved. I'm going to cancel that for a second so they go to the other side. Because these, these guys are going to be uh, wet and cold for a while, otherwise. And that's an inconvenient. And what mods am I using? I mean, honestly, if you are... Oh, how cold is this water? That's pretty cold. What do we got in a blueprint? We do have a poke shell. Wouldn't mind getting one of those, but let's see if we have any better. Anybody better. Uh, I don't really want the binge eater. Digging, researching, and decorating. I don't have much for floral scent, so I don't know if I need to worry about that. So we could get this guy. But honestly, none of these people are... Did I see infected by hypothermia? Yeah. They're really cold. This, this water is not warm. And so, wow, that is, they're leveling fast. But yeah, hopefully by just warming them up, we should solve problems. Okay, I'm going to look at this guy. So, they polluted, polluted dirt and rot piles, and they excrete sand. Well, that's handy, actually. Now, I'm going to try and get into uh, ranching sooner. And yeah, I'm just going to keep mopping up this water for a little while. I should probably have just dug around. Maybe I should do that. I'm going to dig around first, then we'll just dump the rest of the water. Well, on the plus side, it's going to level his strength real fast by doing this. Infinite mopping. <laughs> what even is going on? It's amusing to watch. Okay, and so hopefully this way they won't uh they won't be as cold anymore. Okay. But yeah, since we're on a nice biome, of course hypothermia is, is totally a thing. And will probably suck. Quite a lot. Uh, let's see. We should probably start heading for advanced research next. Hmm. 
and oxygen down here is going to become an issue. Let's leave that for the time being. Because the sooner we can get this water area allocated, the sooner I can just kind of uh, focus on other things. Okay. Right. Do we have much for furniture? We do have a mess table. How much, how much food do we even have left? Okay, so I've actually got a fair bit of nutrient bars and muck roots just sitting around, so we're good for a little while at least. Okay. Oh, they research fast. Let's see, please don't dig yourself into this corner. I'm gonna cancel these for a second. Oh, that's just fertilizer hanging out there. So now that we're over here, we have an arbor acorn immediately. What biome is this? I actually have no idea what biome this is. It's cold. This whole place is cold. Like, we're probably gonna want... Uh, are you just socializing? No. They're stuck. I'm floored that they got stuck by doing that, but... You know what? Whatever. I'm gonna just cancel this entire mess for a little while. Cancel that. We're gonna put a ladder down this side. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, without that ladder down that way... Oh, he's super wet. They're just having a pleasant chit chat. Yeah, we'll have to w we'll have to work on that. That's it. Does anybody have any skill points yet? No. We'll leave that for a little while. Oh, and we've got some hatches. Yeah, definitely gonna have to clean this up. Okay. So they're gonna work on that. We'll have to start farming soon. Did we get... If we're under food. We can do some farm tiles. Probably gonna move over here for the farm. And yeah, at some point we're going to need to worry about oxygen, because we've still got some. We're going to need more. But we've got at least some for now. Let's see, hey Wonder, love your Dragon Quest builder. Hey, thank you! That was a fun series to film. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've already filmed it all on, uh, on Twitch, so I'm just slowly putting it up on YouTube. I guess there's some sandbox stuff at the end of the game that I, I'm still working on very slowly, but that's kind of a when I have the time and when I'm not recording other games kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, we might as well start planting some meal warts. It takes, like, nothing to get these things planted, so we might as well just get it going. And they can just eat, like, the basic life lice. We'll want to get a, uh... We'll want to get... A proper, like, kitchen going this time around. I really... I don't know, I really wish there were more rooms in this game. Like, it'd be really cool if, uh... Beyond just the morale bonus, if certain rooms actually provided benefits. On the topic of Dragon Quest Builders, uh, say if you have an enclosed room with, like, a storage container, or, like, a fridge, for example, and then the uh, the cooking implements and so on and so forth. You could uh, 
uh, you'd get like a productivity bonus on on cooking compared to just having the station out on its own. Same thing with like labs and so on and so forth. Your room bonuses feel uh, mildly underserved for this game. It's not a big deal. It's just a bit unfortunate. Anyway, let's get their science up to that. way high. Oh, let's see. Speaking of science, what do we want to work on? Let's see. So rust oxidization, oxidizing might not be a bad idea. Let's probably work towards sanitation first. Let's see. Back to this ladder. We've got that there. Yeah, we'll probably want to insulate much of this base. Oh, there's neat noises coming from out here. Let's see. So yeah, what happened in the last colony wander? Eat. I could... I, I had... Pretty much everything was 100 degrees. And I was just like, there might be a way of like reclaiming this and making it work. But like, sweet Jesus, I don't want to deal with that. Not right now. I'm gonna have a second ladder system here. It might be easier to have like a double ladder system just with like the central things that we need. Maybe, I don't know. I just figure this is kind of, this giant glacier is a pain in the ass. Luckily, it's got, like, metal in it, so there's kind of a reason for it to exist. Hopefully, there aren't too many glaciers like that. At the same time, it's a nice source of ice. But yeah, we'll probably want to... ...insulate much of this giant glacier, and then run pipes through it to keep everything cool. Luckily, it's actually cold as shit in this entire base, which is a bit of an issue. Hopefully it'll get better as I warm things up. But yeah, it looks like we might be racing the clock a little bit for... for heat. Actually, if I check research, we're almost done with sanitation. We might want to look into uh, getting insulated tile sooner than later. Oh, we don't want a skill scrubber. We want a supercomputer. And I think it might almost keep this power circuit on its own. Let's see. I mean, do you guys want me to just go back to the old save and try and get it working? Because I, I could try and, and go back and fix it. Let's see. So we could get sandstone. We could get a shine nymph. Uh, let's see. Builder, tidier, rancher, but he's a vomiter. I was hoping I could mostly have people that are are ugly criers. The shine bug would be kind of fun. Otherwise, we could actually go with this person. Can't build, but they can decorate, research, and operate. Let's go with this person. Because Germ Resistant and Quick Learner both are really, really good. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spawn this dupe. You guys wanna uh, chuck a particularly gross food at me? One that ideally doesn't exist, but 
You know, if it does, oh well. Let's see. So we don't need doctoring. We should probably focus on digging with at least a couple of the characters. Okay, right. Research. We're going to start working towards temperature modulation. I only get the dupes that cry. Okay, so we'll... After this character, we'll... we'll try and focus in on that. The problem is, it is that is actually a really, uh, durian. Oh, do you mean just durian? Oh, dude. Okay. I got it. So, Mima, let's go with, uh, durian pie. <laughs> thank you, Odenhagen, by the way, for that. Uh, and thank you for the 15-month resub. I was life. You were having a relaxing afternoon playing video games or just watching. Deep fried halibut cookies. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be that'd be an option. Okay, so they're almost done with this. How's the oxygen doing? It's getting bad. We're gonna get just an, an oxygen diffuser down here. And we'll just run a wire down to it. Cancel the build right there. We're gonna move it one in. I'd like to facilitate rooms, even if they're not the most useful. It'll make it easier to lock off the uh, problem rooms eventually. Let's see, going good? We only have three months left to finish our nursery. You're expecting a second kid. Is it a fancy nursery or just a comfy nurse nursery? I know some people like to go like all out for that sort of thing. But also congratulations. Okay, so that'll get us just a little bit of oxygen. Because yeah, there is not a whole lot of breathable anything down there. And that's going to make it real difficult for us to actually get any work done. Let's see. Comfy nursery. Probably the best kind. I don't remember anything of, like, my childhood nursery or bedrooms or anything like that. I remember having, like, a metal bed when I was in Minnesota and that wasn't great. And then I had like a let's see. And then I remember having a, a wooden bunk bed that I shared with my brother, which wasn't actually half bad, but it was really difficult to get up into because we didn't have a ladder. You had to like straight up climb. I was always afraid I was gonna rip the rip the siding off trying to get up. Eventually, I got tall enough that it wasn't a problem, but. Still was an issue. I'll clean these out at some point. It's just low priority. I want to get this water situation sorted. Oh, that's a lot of metal down there. I haven't found a geyser yet, which is unfortunate. But then again, I don't need those that much. I wonder if you finished a short hike yet. Yep. Last episode, actually, I think just went out on YouTube a short while ago. It was a fun game. Not very long, but didn't need to be. Okay. So, plumbing. Okay, so we are going to need a four high area here. Because the shower is much taller. I guess what I could do is actually... Could move it there. Could tear some of this stuff up.
We could always alternate. Ideally, I'd like to keep it close to the water reservoirs. As close as possible. Unfortunately, it's going to take them a while still to finish building this. Especially because it's cold and they're working on research and some other things. Right, because two, uh, uh, two out of four of my people are researchers. Does mean I get research done real quick, which is a plus. Plus. 